Hey guys, um, I'm gonna, I'm seeming to make this a series now, but uh, I thought I might as well do it while I've done all the others. But um, this is going to be covering my Xbox, the original Xbox, and my Nintendo GameCube wrestling game collection. Quite a bit of variance here, um, and some you will probably have seen in the PS2 version, but I'll explain that as we go along. <coughs> Backyard wrestling, don't try this at home. Don't try this at your friend's house. Don't try this on holiday. Don't try it whatsoever. Probably would have been a better title. This is garbage. Um, it's not wrestling, it's a really cheap fighting game. But uh, for some reason, I bought this and its sequel at Game Station before even reading the reviews. Real bad mistake. I had more punishment to suffer. I know that Sabu was in one of these and the Sandman was in the other. It's about the only noteworthy thing to say. Oh look at that. 4 .99. I still think I got ripped off. Ah. I'll show these two together because I showed them in my last video. Legends of Wrestling had two had a green cover. Um, I got this when I purchased the original Xbox used. So I, I got another one. This one wasn't bad enough, and this one I bought so I could play it on the 360 to see if there was any, if it was any different, less glitchy than the PS2. But my God, it's worse. It's worse if anything. All right, getting slightly better. Raw. I first got this on the PC before I got my Xbox, um, but for years I couldn't play it because my PC wasn't good enough to play it. And when I finally did play it, I ended up getting an Xbox. So what the hell was the point in that? I will never know. Um, clearly this is based around the WWF days. But they've just changed the logo. Uh, WWE gets raw on Xbox. Sorry, I know you can't see that. The camera's really shit. Bone shattering finishing moves that were fucking hard to execute. Authentic superstar entrances. Yeah, they did walk like they had a stick up their ass, But they were authentic at first certain part. Players top WWE superstars, yeah, from February 2001, and this was released, what, 2002, mid-2002? Assault opponents on the way to the ring. That was cool. I'll give them that. That was a cool feature. I think that should have been implemented in some way in the future. Completing a variety of match types. No season mode, though. Makes this just not worth it. There's one game I did want to play when I got the Xbox. Raw 2. Uh... I was hoping this would be like an Xbox equivalent of Here Comes the Pain. Not quite there, but it does have a lot of things that I like about it. Um, the season mode had no dialogue whatsoever. No text or no voiceover. It just it had two people having fighting scenes and it was just like a proper season. You decided in your head like what the superstars were thinking. And I found that kind of cool. It's up to four players as well. I don't think you really had that sort of thing at the time. Chris Jericho looking determined there. Uh, Booker T and Scott Steiner. Got Steiner listed twice, he looks really good in this game. Over 60 superstars, yeah, huge roster on the Xbox. Um, some people like Goldberg, wow, his, his head looks really wonky in this. And he's a cover star. Yeah, this is this is the best WWE game on the Xbox. Oh, no. That's not saying the whole much. Oh my god, here we go. WrestleMania 21. Um, ugh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, Become a legend online. The online apparently didn't work when the game first came out. Uh, again, I never had the original Xbox Live. Superstar voiceover and commentary. A lot better than SmackDown vs Raw. Um, but again, the story's just like... The story's really good, actually. It's, if you played Day of Reckoning, you know what to expect. Um, Create your own championship. Uh, da, da, da. Sound like they just copied SmackDown vs Raw on the back here. Yeah. If you're hungry for the most complete WWE experience on the Xbox, look no further than WrestleMania 21. It may be the most complete experience, but it doesn't change the fact it's absolute garbage. The gameplay just shit, glitches galore, Legends of Wrestling, you would be proud. Um, unique mention, uh, Def Jam Fight for NY New York. I don't know, but I know this was made by the people who made the N64 games, so I picked it up. Hip Hop Superstars, I have no idea who they are, because I don't follow it. Uh, but the game played a lot like the old N64, it had a lot of the old N64 moves, 
the last ride is the one I remember the most. So I just thought I'd mention it. It's a good game, but it's not really for me because I don't know who the people are. That's the Xbox. Uh, moving on to the GameCube. Hoping I can fit them more in one video. <sighs> WrestleMania 18. Different cover, I think. Stone Cold was here. In America. Uh, RVD, Hogan. Big deal at the time, I suppose, him coming back. Uh, all new superstars. Da -da -da -da. 3D for a table. God, I, I tried so hard to try and do that. I never pull it off. NWO Invasion. It did have Nash, Horn, Hogan. Which is good, but unlike Shut Your Mouth, it did not have the authentic NWO music. So, again, they did not have the complete experience on either console. No escaping the cage. Da -da -da. Basically, it's not enough in this game. It's fun, it's made by the people who made SmackDown, but there's just very few moves in the game. Like TNA Impact, really. WrestleMania 19, much better. One of my favourites. Uh, I remember Brock Lesnar's triple power bomb was in this. That was a really fun move to do. Um, the revenge mode is the career mode in it. You had to destroy Vince McMahon's WrestleMania Empire or whatever, and you had to beat security guards and destroy backstage areas. And it was nice, but to think that was actually our story mode was hard to believe. I'd like to think that that should have been a, a different mode altogether, but the fact that they actually made that story mode is pretty piss poor. Uh, but yeah, it added strong grapples. There was a lot more moves in this. It was a lot more fun. Um, and, uh, it's only Stephanie McMahon, but it is there is some voiceover in there. Day of Reckoning 1. Obviously, I've uploaded videos of these games on my channel. Uh, cheap plug. Hey! Mick Foley would be proud of me. Um, yeah, this is alright. It was missing some key superstars. Like uh, I remember from the time Eugene and JBL. I was kind of annoyed they weren't in it. But um, there's no doubt this is definitely a really fun game. Uh, yeah. Story mode was really cool. Uh, but the roster was just really small. That's what really put me off about this. I know what can't obviously fit that many on a GameCube disc. But um I was hoping for more variety, they just didn't really have enough main eventers here. But if you want to know a really random stupid fact, I'll give you it. This is the only game I believe that had the Rock's full chest tattoo. So uh, you're gonna get some education in these videos. And finally, Dare Reckoning 2. I prefer this to the first game. Because it's got Stone Cold in it, probably. Uh, one downside, it has a stamina system that people who played SmackDown vs Raw 2006 will probably know. But unlike that game, you can't turn it off. But uh, yeah, if you play sensibly, you won't ever have to run out of stamina, would you? So stop moaning. Um, John Cena. Before I hated him. Uh, what I liked about this is it actually carried on the story from the first game. It's a shame you couldn't actually import your creative wrestlers from the first game so they looked exactly the same. Because the create modes, as good as they were, you couldn't create exactly the same thing, or at least I couldn't. And I believe this is the first WWE game, or maybe the first day I reckon it was, to include the paint tool that SmackDown vs. Raw has today. So, yeah. That's the Xbox and GameCube WWE wrestling games that I own. So, uh, yeah, I'll upload more on my channel because I like to make it as complete as possible. So, uh, yeah. Uh, rate, subscribe, comment, whatever. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace.